Hello lovers, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all so much for joining me again for another video. So today I want to talk a little bit about what you can do or what you can buy to prepare for your first reborn doll. Now I know the holidays are newly over. A lot of people were really excited to find out that they were receiving reborn dolls for the holiday. Not just kids but some adults too, uh, especially adults because I know a lot of people save up all year long to be able to order that very special reborn doll and I have received a few emails uh, recently just asking hey what can I do to prepare for my first reborn doll and to be honest I never actually thought about this I sat down and I thought about hmm what were some of the things that I did when I got my very first doll and by then I had watched tons of videos or as many as I could find because um it seemed like there wasn't a whole lot of reborn doll videos back then like there are now but I would have liked to see a video like the one I'm making now on YouTube when I was buying my first doll so let's jump right in first and foremost I want to let you guys know that most of the items I'm going to talk about in this video are purely unnecessary. <laughs> they are not a must. There is no hard and fast rules to this community when it comes to collecting dolls. That is the whole point of each doll collector having a collection um, that is tailored just for them to their specifications and just perfect for them so some people may collect a lot of clothes some people may only collect certain things to go with their reborn doll it's all up to you but it is not necessary for you to have this stuff in order for you to enjoy your doll what I will say that is really important is that we all need to remember first and foremost that these are works of art. Real Reborn Dolls are expensive. They take a lot of time and effort going into them to create them and you want to take care of your dolls so they last a really long time. And one way you can do that is before you get your doll or soon after you get your doll the first thing you can think about is where you are going to store your doll. Because you don't want to just have your doll laying out oh, anywhere. You don't want your doll to fall into the wrong hands if you have small children around. Or if you have pets that like to chew on objects. You definitely don't want something bad to happen to your doll in terms of that. You also don't want to leave your doll in direct sunlight to melt the vinyl or any extremely cold conditions that could also be detrimental to the paint. So make sure that you have a safe place to store your doll. Now this doesn't mean you have to have an entire nursery. That is not what that means. If you have a nice, um, cool, just out of direct sunlight place where you can put your doll that could be in a little basket it could even be in a container packed away in your closet as long as it's safe not getting in harm's way then that is a good place to start the next thing I'm going to say is something to keep up some dolly maintenance. And by dolly maintenance, I mean keeping your doll clean. And even if you decide to only display your dolls and not play with them or change the clothes, you still want to keep up with them and make sure they are clean. Now, I don't know about you, but I do have ceiling fans in my house and inside this room where I keep my reborn dolls and sometimes I'll have it on and you don't think about it but those ceiling fans will pick up a lot of dust and dirt over the month and I highly recommend that you keep a soft washcloth 
specifically for your dolls just so you can gently wipe them down, clean the crevices of the eyes, the hands and the feet. That way if you do have your doll on display for any length of time that it doesn't collect dust and stuff. I also recommend keeping some Q-tips around uh, for those small parts in the eyes or the ears. I find that to be like one of the hardest little spots to clean on my dolls. So having Q-tips on hand is really helpful. So technically, I feel like those are your number one things you absolutely have to have if you plan on keeping a reborn doll collection. Now, let's get on to some of these other extra things um, in preparing for your first Reborn doll. So, I am going to kind of be browsing over a list that I made. Um, there will be a link to this article that I'm discussing now on my website. If you rather bypass all the blabber and you rather just read it, I will have a link to the article I wrote about this on my blog website. Um, so... For starters, let's just go over why Reborn Doll collectors get this stuff in the first place. And the quick and easy answer is because we want to. <laughs> because it's fun. It's fun. Plain and simple. It's fun. Uh, it adds to the excitement of having a Reborn Doll. Of course it's unnecessary. And of course it may be a little bit frivolous, but if this is the only kind of hobby that you have and you like to invest in it, there's no shame in this, I feel like. And there's ways that you can purchase these items very inexpensively, even sometimes free. So it's really no skin off anybody's nose. So one of the basic things I personally recommend if you want to get a few things for your new reborn doll is onesies. You can't go wrong with onesies. Now when you have a reborn doll coming in the mail, not all the time it's going to come with a box opening. I know it seems like that's a really mainstream thing. A lot of box opening videos are on YouTube. but actually you're not really obligated to get a whole box full of accessories and goodies with your doll what you're paying for is for the artist's time her creation his or her creation the materials they use that is what you're paying for you're not necessarily paying for any extras which is why a lot of reborn mommies and daddies like to do a little shopping before their baby comes and one of the things I recommend you picking up is onesies. So I got examples here. I'm pretty sure a lot of you know what onesies look like. But just in case, this is a short sleeved onesie. And these are pretty versatile little things. You can use these as complete outfits. You can use them uh, layering with outfits and they're just good to have all around to hide the cloth body of your doll. So if you can only get one or two items for your doll, I highly recommend going with onesies. A good place to get them would be Walmart. I feel like Walmart sells single onesies at a fairly decent price between one and two dollars or one and four dollars depending on how fancy the onesie is it could be something plain it could be something with embroidered animals on it there's a wide variety of onesies out there and they do come in long and short sleeve so it's all up to you on what you want and what kind of style you want for your reborn doll. My second thing I suggest is three types of outfits. Um, and these are all just suggestions. If you can only pick and choose, do that. You don't have to get everything that I'm talking about. But if you do go the outfit route, I recommend one pair of pajamas or one pajama outfit, one play outfit, and one dressy outfit. Now, I find this to be convenient because, um, 
as I'm doing my dolly maintenance, dusting off my dolls, I like to change their clothes. I do wash the clothes periodically just to get dust off. I have really bad allergies, so dust is a no-go for me. Um, so I try to keep it as clean as I possibly can. But uh, in changing the clothes, the whole reason I change the clothes, not only just because it's cute, but I like to keep things clean and dust free. So having different outfit options helps me do that. So just for an example, I highly recommend these type of pajamas as sleepers. These are really cute. This particular one is Child of Mine by Carter that you can get at Walmart. Um, but I feel like it's a really good go-to outfit even though it's a pajama it has little footsies so you don't have to worry about socks or shoes and it's really versatile not only that but it makes your doll super cuddly and if you're the type of person to hold your doll a lot like when you're sitting around watching tv or while you're reading a book these are great great outfits you don't have to worry about getting it dirty wrinkled or messed up especially if you like taking pictures um, these outfits are pretty good go-to as pajamas, an all-around kind of option. And these two pajamas that I just showed you guys were Truett and Trevor's very first PJs. Those were the first PJs that I ever bought them. Probably the first thing I ever bought them. I always buy my new babies some comfy pajamas because I know when they come home, I'm going to want to snuggle with them. So, uh, that is PJs. Now, for play outfit, this could be anything. I do know a lot of people on Instagram are really into the natural fabric kind of thing. Uh, less dyes, less colored clothes. Especially if you like styled Instagrams and you want to keep everything kind of minimalistic. Um, you might go that route. But for me, my stuff is all over the place. <laughs> I love color. So a lot of my baby's clothes are pretty colorful. This was Truett's very first little dress. And it is a really pale pink. Um, the color might be getting washed out on the camera. But it's a really pale pink corduroy dress that I probably picked up for a couple of bucks at Once Upon a Child. So that is another place where you can get all the dolly items that I'm going to mention in this video for really good prices. I am thrifty y'all. I am thrifty when it comes to baby clothes. I mean I feel like you already spend half of a fortune on getting the doll in the first place. I don't want to have to double back and spend a lot more just getting accessories and stuff. And to be honest, you can find really, really cute, affordable stuff. I don't like purchasing anything that costs over $15, and it has to be something. I really, 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 really want to even spend that much. In general, my outfits may cost uh, $8, $7, $8, but I don't buy too much clothes anymore. I have gotten a collection over the years. So I don't find myself buying a whole lot of outfits anymore. But if you want to go the outfit route, you can get a cute little dress. Or Trevor's first outfit was this little t-shirt. Also from Once Upon a Child or a local thrift store. I don't know. It was super cheap. And like a little pair of baby jeans or baby sweatpants. Super cute stuff that you could get for cheap. And lastly would be a dressy outfit. Now, this is totally frivolous. I won't lie. But I do like having dressy outfits for when I go to dolly meetups. It's just fun. Everybody wants to dress their reborn doll in their cutest outfit and show it off with their friends. Especially if you're going to be taking videos or lots of pictures, which I usually do. So, I can show you a couple of outfits I have that I consider to be dressy. And I haven't even put this on Trevor yet. But, since I will be on a trip to visit Kelsey, 
uh, Miss Cajun Babies on Instagram. I'll leave her information in this video. Please go follow her on Instagram. Her babies are just so cute and I can't wait to see them in person. But we will be going visit her this month really soon i'm so excited and this is probably one of the type of outfits i will put on my reborn dolls because it's more dressy it's for an event we're going somewhere special and yeah this is another little outfit that i got trevor recently that i find to be kind of dressy and it's just so cute super super cute and here is a dr what I would consider a dressy outfit for Truett. Has this cute little floral dress and a little short cardigan to go over it. So these are the kind of things I consider as dressy outfits. Um, totally unnecessary, you guys. You do not have to do this. But those are your kind of options that you have. Some people may consider the stuff I'm going to talk about to be necessities, but I don't, I don't feel like they're exactly needed, but they do add to the realism of your doll if you're really into photography or just like having extra accessories. Um, accessories do include stuff like baby mittens, diapers, which is just fun. Uh, crib caps, especially if you have a baldy baby like I do. I like having matching hats for Trevor's outfits. Or headbands if you have a baby girl. Um, one of the things I did forget to mention in the very beginning of this video is if your doll has rooted hair, you are most definitely going to need some kind of tools to maintain the hair. I mean, even if the doll is on display, at some point you're going to have to style the hair to get rid of dust. So I do recommend a small little baby brush and comb set. This was a dollar, you guys, and I've had this over a year, probably two years now. And I got this from Dollar Tree, and it is the softest little baby brush, and I use this every time I do uh, Truett's hair. So... Highly recommend that. Like I said, you could pick all of this stuff up at Family Dollar, Dollar General, Dollar Tree. Another thing on the accessories list along with headbands and hats is um, socks, baby blankets, pacifiers. And I find like stuff like that is more so props um, that are good for photography and stuff, but definitely not necessary. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. That is what I can recommend for any of you guys who are expecting your first reborn baby. Let's go over this. <laughs> you need a safe, dry spot to store your reborn doll. It could be in a box. It could be in a container in your closet. It could be on display on a bookshelf. Just keep it out of harm's way, out of direct sunlight, and you should be fine. Uh, a soft washcloth to keep dirt and dust away, as well as a brush and comb if your baby has hair. Uh, water is optional, but a lot of artists do suggest that you spritz the hair with a little bit of water. And I just keep my water in one of these travel size squirter bottles. It just makes it easy for me to get the water on the hair without overdoing it and onesies basically and you only need one of them onesies for your baby just so they have something to cover up the claw body and that is basically all you need all the rest of this is just fun little extras that you don't need to really worry about getting right away i do know most reborn dolls come with at least one outfit or one pajama when you order them so that is a start for you guys so that is it for this video y'all i hope you found it informative hope you found it helpful i do believe in my next video um i will talk about luxury reborn baby items because they're just fun they're just fun and why not you don't need them you don't have to have them 
but they're fun. So we'll talk about that next time, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!